Oh, so how did the Islanders beat the Capitals? Uh, literally just happened as I record this video. Usually there's a few hours delay here, but uh, no, we're like bang on. I mean, this game was a real sum up of just the whole series, and I'm referring to game five um, as the Islanders win this series four to one. Um, and I made a video of, of how they were beating the, uh, the Capitals when they're up three nil in this series. Um, and a lot of it rings true, but I've been able to dig a little bit deeper to be able to analyze a little bit more. It, it's just an inability of, it, it's smothering this Washington defense and not giving them, uh, offense, sorry, and not giving them an inch, not giving them an inch to the point where, uh, they couldn't score, uh, shoot more than 26 shots on net, uh, in any games this series. Um, so they never got over 30. And this can be a high shooting team in Washington and, um, and had a very successful regular season. At some points during the regular season, they were probably one of the most best teams in the league. So this Islanders uh, series win, uh, I wouldn't say it's shocking. I think this team is built to win series this way. Uh, the reason why I say it's shocking, uh, it's not shocking that they won. It's shocking how they've won. Usually, you can't eke out games like this cons consistently, uh, where you can get you know sticks on the puck, uh, get the blocks, nothing goes through. They were perfect this whole series, absolutely perfect. Um, there is nothing more that you would want from this Islanders franchise out of an, a, a best of seven series than what this entire team was able to muster in these uh, five games. There's nothing, nothing more. Yeah, they dropped a game and, you know, I, I don't want to see in the comments where they weren't perfect because they dropped a game. This was the perfect series uh, for them. They played so well. Valimov barely had to do anything this whole series. I mean, yeah, he had to make some saves, but not real high scoring chances. I think today there was one. There was one chance really that they had of scoring a goal, like a proper like high end chance. The other exciting thing is, is that it's not one person scoring all the goals. If you look through B Bolivier uh, today, Lee had a really good game. Matt Martin's even scored this series. Uh, like, it's it's just players stepping up and scoring goals during the game uh, when they need to and when the opportunities arise. But it's not one single player or a line committing to this offense it's a whole team like it's just a whole team it's a wave of just this it's like a cobra just strangling something and 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 there's just not a second to breathe and that is this team to a t whether they're playing defense or offense you do not get a second of space with the puck they took that away at every moment that they could whether they can do this for the next three series if they are to go all the way um, is yet to be yet to be seen, but if they can, this is a dangerous team. This is a very dangerous team. Um, they've got a very good goaltender who can win them a series. They he definitely have the ability to if they if they you know fall from the system for a few games, he can steal a game for them. But if they keep this system up, there are some teams that are really going to struggle against it. And at the East is wide open, is absolutely wide open. Like this is. Really set up this year for a team like the Islanders to to put a massive dent, if not make the cup final. Now, I'm not saying they're guaranteed, because again, I do say it's wide open, but they're able to just suffocate teams. And you look at teams like Tampa Bay, you look at Boston. Boston, most of their goals were scored by um, players being alone. You're not getting alone against this team. You you were just not. They, they just gave nothing to the Capitals. They game-planned the fact that Ovi goes through his little point and shoots. That was gone, taken away. I mean, it only took, what, like 15 years for a team to take that away. Um, but yeah, they, they managed to do it. I mean, Backstrom being out, yeah, makes life a little bit easier for them. But, I mean, that's playoffs, right? Like, you know, there's going to be injuries. There's going to be players hurt. So, um, so yeah. I think what's lost, too, is the skill that this team has. Um, like, everyone just says, you know, the defensive game, it, it's so well-structured, and, and it does really strung, strangle and, and smother teams. But, like, you look at that uh, second goal today, that was amazing. That was a, an amazing goal. Uh, Barzell scored a, a pretty good goal uh, as well, I think, in game four. I want to say in game four. But, yeah, you're always going to win a series when you stop a team from uh, scoring two goals or more uh, in four games, um, uh, only one game, and that was in overtime that they could muster uh, more than two goals um, for Washington. Um and they went three games without scoring a five-on-five -five goal.
and that's yeah. I mean that 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 says it in 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 a nutshell. But it really was just a a full team effort, rolling the whole team. They were great in every zone. It wasn't just defensive. It wasn't the mad scramble to block shots. I mean, they did that when they had to. I think they had thirty-one block shots today. Um, so uh, they they just made it so they they scouted where they definitely shoot from the caps, um, and they took that away. They completely took it away. I think Capitals are definitely missing someone like Niskanen, um, which I, I mentioned in the last video. Um, but credit to the Islanders, like really, like credit to them. This was one of the these. I, I, I mentioned in the Tampa Bay um, when uh, and the Boston that no team really in the East has stepped up. Well, the first the first team to take a step in that direction is the Islanders, in my opinion. Um, I think the other two got off lightly with the teams that they versed. Um, I don't think the Capitals were terrible. I, I really don't. I think they tried through most of this series. I mean, yeah, they went missing in some patches. I actually think the Islanders were that good. It wasn't the fact that the Capitals were bad. It was that the Islanders were good. And they have really raised a lot of questions for the Capitals of what to do. This is the first time that they've lost back-to-back -back first round series since 1999. So, yeah. Yeah, this, this is not a regular occurrence for this team. Um, usually they'll lose in the second round of the Pittsburgh Penguins. But, <laughs> but no. Um, yeah, they got lost in Game 7 to the Hurricanes and now, um, are now here. So, ooh boy. But yeah, this is going to be an exciting team to watch uh, going forward. Uh, next series cannot wait. Uh, we got one more, one more team to uh, to figure out now uh, in the East, and um, and then we've got our full lineup. We know what's going on. Anyway, guys, if you did like this video, hit the like button. Uh, otherwise, hit subscribe. It really does help us out. Uh, we've just cracked 150, so that's amazing. Uh, I know the last Islander video did quite well. Um, sorry, I don't have an Islanders jersey. Um, I get a random two jerseys from Ben H Sports every week, uh, every fortnight. So eventually I will have an Islanders jersey. I just don't know when. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day. See you and bye.